Hi everyone, it's me Jasteep and I'm back again with another video on what's the difference between router mode and an access point mode. In my last video on Ethernet connection between Deco X60 units, there were a lot of queries like which mode should I select, router mode or access point mode. In this video, I've done testing on both the modes and I'll be telling you first like what's the difference and then I'll be sharing my results on exactly how they performed in the same environment. So let's get started. So let's talk about router mode. Now what exactly is router mode? So router mode is a mode wherein, if you see, the ISP modem is non-functional and the deco takes charge of the whole network within your house. So it will be responsible for roaming, it will be responsible for speed, it will be responsible for all sort of extra functionalities you get with the deco. And here you can typically have two sort of uh, architecture. The one would be the main deco connected to a slave deco and the slave deco can be connected to the other deco or you can have a main deco and you can put in a switch which connects to both the slave decos. You can also have a connection wherein it's a wireless connection and not a wired connection. But the big point to understand here is where exactly do we use this? We use it in a place which, which is smaller, like a house, where most of the devices are non-static, that is the devices are moving. And the ISP modem is very close to the main deco. Now let me explain. Why do you need it in small architectures? Because the decos are themselves very powerful, so they can take care of the Wi-Fi needs within a house or a smaller area. Non-static devices, this point I'll explain in access point mode, but just to give you an idea, if the ISP modem is also working, then you have typically two networks in the house and then the roaming won't be seamless. So that is why we need only one of them to be active and router mode is preferred. The third point being ISP modem close to the main deco. So if in your house or whichever establishment you have, if the main deco and the ISP router, they are very close to each other, then there's a problem if you activate an access point mode. Because what will happen is both of these devices will be functioning and there'll be a lot of interference with, between them and deco won't be able to manage that. So that sort of is a conflict. So whenever you have a house-like structure or a smaller area, and you are sure that yes, the deco can take care of the network within the whole place, go for the router mode. Plus you also get the additional functionalities that come with that, like the parental control, antivirus, and so on and so forth. Now let's move on to the access point mode. So in the access point mode, uh, you can ignore this root router. So since the reason being that most of the modems from ISP is including the router as well. But here typically what happens is, two networks get created. So let's suppose this is your house and this side you have the deco and this side you have the ISP router. What will happen is there'll be two networks and both of the networks will try to compete with each other and your devices will also be sort of confused. So where do we use access point? When you have a bigger place. So let's suppose there's an office and there's like one side of the office that has uh, uh, a network issue, you can put the ISP router there and to the major section, which is the bigger portion of the office, you can put the deco. Your devices are static. So what's happening is just imagine this structure. So let's suppose half of the office is getting internet from the ISP and half is getting from the deco. Now, if your devices will be moving from one section to the other, so let's suppose a device is tracing from the right hand side and moving towards the left hand side, what will happen is it will continue to be attached to the deco as long as even there is minute amount of Wi-Fi present in the left hand side and vice versa. When your device moves from left hand side towards the section two, it will continue to hold on to the ISP modem or the router as long as it can. So the handoff won't be that seamless. Why? Because these are two different devices which are providing Wi-Fi to you. Now, Again, the third point, which correlates to the first two, is that the distance between the main router and the main deco should be good enough because you don't want interference to happen between the two. Hence, in an establishment which is bigger, which there's a huge difference between the main router as well as the main deco, I would always suggest go with access point mode. The devices should also be static. There should not be too much mo mo movement in devices because what will happen is if the device move from compartment two to compartment one or com vice versa, the handoff won't be seamless and then you'll see a lot of drop-offs. So this is pretty much what the distinction between a router mode and an access point mode is. Now going ahead, I have also done some testing and I'll share you the results. Thanks. So I'm in the farthest position in my house from the deco and I'm doing a speed test. This is in router mode and my Rogers modem is in bridge mode because if it's in router mode, I don't want my uh, Rogers modem to be active. I have 500 MBPS download and 30 MBPS upload. So let's see. So 
so that's like 500 there and the upload slowly it's going towards the 30 mbps yeah so that is the consistent speed we get when we have router mode now what i'll do is i'll take this to the other location and within two minutes i'll conduct another test just to see whether the roaming experience has been good or not and whether it hops to the next deco mode or not now i'm in the kitchen it's just a minute and it should be early connected to the other deco because the one that was connected before that was like it's too far and yes the handoff has happened it's a seamless roaming experience i'm again getting the consistent 500 mbps almost 400 like that and had it been connected to the previous deco where i was it would have been only 100 mbps because that deco is really far from this place so in the router mode i would say that yes speeds are good connection is solid and roaming experience is excellent now i'll do the same in the ap mode okay so same place as before ap mode again i'm in the farthest location from the deco and it can only be connected to one deco right now because other decos are really far so ap mode as well uh, slightly higher ping i would say 17 versus 12 before and speeds are close to 500 only and let's see the upload yes so the upload is also 30 mbps so i'm getting good speeds here now what i'll do is within a minute i will move this device to the next deco and see if it hops or not and we'll conduct the second test i'm in the kitchen and it's just a minute over like i've just come here and i'll be running this test so it's it hasn't clocked the 400 plus that it clocked in the router mode it's still trying to do that hopping to the next deco so even though it has done to a reasonable extent i would say that in case of router mode that experience was much better it was faster so seamlessness was there but here i would say it still takes time a bit laggy so that is overall experiment so friends, in the end, I would like to say that I did test with both router mode as well as access point mode. In case of router mode, I had better connection, better roaming, as well as uh, stronger speeds. Whereas in access point mode, there was a frequent, there were frequent dropouts. There were complaints from my family. My phone connection was dropping usually. And then uh, I would suggest like if you have a bigger house, where is the movement from one part of the house to the other is not very frequent. And you have a huge distance between your primary router and the main deco please go for access point mode but if you know that the house structure is that people keep on moving from one place to other please go with the router mode do not forget to subscribe my channel if you have any doubts please post your comments down and i would be happy to answer them thanks bye friends